everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add syntax highlighting feature in your ghost blog. So for the syntax highlighting, I'm using Prism. So Prism offers like a variety of theme and it has a support for a wide range of programming languages. Now we will see how we are going to add Prism in ghost blog. So what you have to do, you just uh, need to include Prism libraries like CSS and JS files in your ghost blog. And for that, just go to your ghost editor and go to code injection. So in the code injection, you will find a blog header and blog footer. So in blog header, we are going to add Prism CSS file, whereas in blog footer, we are going to add Prism JS file, JavaScript file. Now where you will find these CSS and JS files. So we are going to use CDN. So you just search for Prism CDN and the link of this also given in the description of this video. So in this CDN, first of all, you need to select which version you want to include. So let's say we are going for 1.16. So here, what we need to search first is CSS file. So here, if you can see, there are CSS file and these CSS files are different like Prism, Oka Idea, Prism Funky. So what does that mean? So it means that which theme you want to include. If you can see here, this is a different theme. If we go for Funky, this is a different theme. So select as per your requirement. So I like this OK idea and uh, for this theme, the CSS file is this one. So we will copy this CSS uh, CDN and we will write a code in block header to include this CSS file. So I have already written that and I have also put it in the description of this video. So you just need to copy and paste. So for CSS file, this is the code, this is the CDN for that CSS file. And for footer, we are going to include JavaScript file. So I have that code as well. So this is the prism.min.js. Now prism has support like a variety of programming language and uh, if you are planning to use a particular language, let's say I'm going to show you how to highlight a Python code. So in that case, we also need to include Python JavaScript library. So what's the difference is that you just need to write this entire line. And if you want to add a, let's say JavaScript highlighting. So just prism hyphen JS dot mean dot JS. And you can also find that link here. So if you can see prism.opencl, prism-opencl, prism. Uh, so the point is, uh, whatever programming language you want to highlight, you just need to include that JavaScript library as well. So once you are done with this, just save it and go to your post. So now I'm going to show you how this highlighting works. So I'm going to write a Python code. So in order to highlight any code, you need to write this symbol and then write the name of the language you want to highlight. And here I'm going to write the code. Import. So let me save the draft and let's see the preview. So if you can see it, the code is highlighted now. So thank you very much for watching.